Today I'm going to peach for the stars with Pex Pepper's Cosmic Peach. Peach and habanero hot sauce. Hey guys, how's it going? It's Bill Moore back again with another review for Garrett Peck of Pex Peppers. And he's located in Pueblo, Colorado. I think I've reviewed... Um, I first reviewed for Garrett back uh, in 2013, the, the year that I started reviewing. So uh, we've got a long history together. I really enjoy uh, what Garrett does. Um, he has really grown in his uh, hot sauce making ability and the flavor profiles that he creates. So they're just awesome. Now this one today, guys, is his Cosmic Peach from Pex Peppers. This is a peach and habanero hot sauce. I think he's kind of redone this one. I know he's created this one years ago but check out that uh, cool looking label on this one now yeah i remember about five years ago in 2016 i tasted the cosmic peach um, special reserve edition i believe where he used jay's peach ghost scorpion uh, peppers in that hot sauce so it was uh, pretty hot but this one's just using habaneros um, just four ingredients on this one guys but let's go ahead and read the uh, side of the bottle here it says you want a peach of me we use perfectly ripe, bright, and fruity orange habaneros to lay the foundation for this otherworldly creation. Decadent, juicy peaches were added in, or added to bring out the stone fruit notes of the peppers. Did you write this, Garrett? And push you beyond the bounds of gravity while adding enough wildflower honey to round it all out and balance the slow burn while you come back to earth. Now, wildflower honey is another key ingredient that Garrett um, uses. Uh, it's kind of one of his key signature ingredients that uh, he uses in, in mostly all of his hot sauces. It's really good. It says, you'll go far when you peach for the stars with Pex Pepper's Cosmic Peach. Pour some on your pork chops. Well, pork chops and a whole lot of other things. Um, all right, let's go ahead and get into this one. Now, this one, um, sodium is only zero milligrams, or there's no sodium in here. Now, I'm not a big fan. I've said this before. I'm not a big fan of no sodium. Low sodium's okay, but uh, I like some sodium in hot sauces. Now, sometimes when it doesn't contain any sodium at all, it doesn't bother me because it's just based on the flavor profile. Uh, it makes up for that lack of sodium in other ways. It doesn't bother me that much. But uh, there's a lot of people that watch their sodium and they don't want a lot of sodium. So that is cool. But here's the ingredients, guys. Like I said, only four. We start off with orange habanero pepper mash. And then we have vinegar, peaches, and wildflower honey. Now, another thing I like what uh, Garrett does is that, and a lot of chili heads like this, is that he really focuses on the flavor of fresh peppers, fresh pepper mash, whether it be jalapenos or something mild like that, or habaneros, or even into the super hots. He always brings forward that fresh um, pepper taste, whatever pepper it is that he's using, and doesn't use a whole lot of other ingredients, which is fine. Doesn't use a lot of different spices and uh, brown sugar, and which would be good in a peach hot sauce, but uh, he keeps it very simple, and that is cool. So check out this one, guys. Beautiful consistency, beautiful color. Nice thickness on this one, not too thick. As you can see, it's moving around in there pretty good. But a nice, bright, kind of like a light orange color to it. Peachy, peachy orange habanero color. All right, looks like you can see some of the seeds of the peppers in there because there is no garlic. Just peppers, vinegar, peaches, and honey. All right. Now, let me mention this. Uh, he's got the habanero heat. He's got this one uh, rated 6 out of 10 there at the bottom, as you can see right there. Now, Garrett's a true chili head, and he rates his hot, hot sauces pretty much for chili heads. So when he says it's a 6, it's probably a 6. Now, right off the bat, I just get those ingredients. I get the habaneros. You can smell the fresh habanero pepper mash. Not too vinegary, but you smell those peppers. A little bit of the fruity peaches, but it's really a blast of habaneros up front. And then 
the nice the nice uh, subtle sweetness you know from that wildflower honey picking up on that just a little bit but wow three basic things guys just orange habanero mash uh, a little bit of peaches a little bit of fruitiness and then that honey Ooh, and it smells good but it smells like it's gonna be six out of ten at least all right here we go cosmic peach peach for the stars all right here we go cosmic peach Ooh, man i'm telling you garrett whoo you really know how to bring the heat now i, th I think this is definitely going to be a six out of ten but wow now this is one where you don't really miss the sodium um, because you're just getting fresh orange habanero flavor a little bit of sweetness from the peaches and the combination of that honey uh, this is really really good but wow this is orange habanero forward delicious i love it yeah not missing the sodium in this one because those those basic ingredients three ingredients and then the vinegar it's just awesome now here's what I did with this one, guys. I put this on a pork roll. I used Taylor ham, pork roll, egg and cheese uh, sandwich on some toasted sourdough uh, for breakfast and cosmic peach on that was delicious. But yeah, I bet this would be good on grilled chicken, shrimp, pork chops. Um, full on back of the mouth, uh, stinging orange habanero burn. Definitely, I'd this is six out of ten i'll give it a six out of ten for heat it takes you to that level um where it's really hot but takes you to that level where it's not particularly painful it doesn't go too much so great job on this one garrett this is good highly recommended guys check it out pexpeppers.com the link will be down in the description garrett thank you so much for sending it i greatly appreciate it guys thanks for watching stay tuned for more and until the next time make sure you Enjoy the burn. We'll see you guys later.